what's up guys so here we are with an update video on genius brands so this was a crazy time for genius brands okay the stock was actually halted for the first hour and 15 minutes of today's trading session um i've really never seen anything like this okay on wednesday um october the 27th uh, the stock was literally did not even start trading until after the the whole business update conference call now i'm not really sure exactly why that happened but uh I'm, I'm i don't know if there was too much volatility or or they didn't want the conference call to affect the stock price or i'm not really sure exactly what happened but basically what happened is is that the the stock opened up huge okay it gapped up very quickly on a little bit of a squeeze and then ever since it's kind of tailed off so we're going to talk about exactly what went down but this is one of the most bullish signals i've seen for genius brands and literally the stock pretty much hasn't reacted even though this company has been absolutely transformed guys so i want to talk a little bit more about this in depth before i get into the video guys i want to remind you to grab your two free stocks over at webull guys webulls are a phenomenal app for trading stocks and as you can see a lot fewer people are using Robinhood, of course due to all of their problems and things like that the fact that um, they don't even list uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies uh, they have a lot of shady practices going on with their order flow so i think webull is a much better alternative guys you can trade fractional shares you can buy cryptocurrencies um it's excellent market data including level two data and also you can trade pre-market as early as four o'clock in the morning eastern standard time so if you just sign up using the link in the description below you'll grab uh two free stocks by opening your brokerage account and direct deposit any amount so let's get back into the bulk of the video so let's get right into it let's basically talk about what happened here so as you can see here, this was leaked out on deadline. It talks about um, what exactly went down. So it says Genius Brands International buying Federator Studios parent WoW Unlimited Media for $53 million. So WoW Unlimited Media, guys, we're going to talk a little bit more about this in depth. But basically, this is a media company based in Vancouver. They're publicly traded on Toronto Stock Exchange. And uh, basically, this is another, um, you know, basically another acquisition. Okay, so the first acquisition was Chizcom. That was the biggest North American media buying um, uh, company for children's content. And now we have another uh, acquisition that is going to really add, going to add a lot of revenue to the income statement. And that's something that a lot of people aren't really talking about. They're kind of panicking and thinking that uh, this is a stock to trade in and out of on a short squeeze and that is true but this acquisition is absolutely monumental and genius actually getting out of this kind of small penny cap uh, market cap which is right now it's at a market cap of like 400 to 500 million and getting hopefully towards that billion dollar market cap so some more big institutional money can pour into it so genius brand ceo said the merger will substantially accelerate financial growth and expansion in the global children's entertainment market so this is a huge, huge acquisition for several reasons. Okay, guys. So first of all, WoW is also has a large social media footprint across YouTube, TikTok, and Giphy. And WoW's network, okay, dealing with around 2,500 channels, has over a billion views a month. A billion views with the B. So we just saw uh, Google's, uh, if you guys have been following Google, okay, Google stock is up pretty well. Um, they did really, really well in um, the quarter. They did real in Q3. So YouTube revenue was up pretty substantial for Google. And of course, you guys are probably obviously watching this on YouTube as well. So we all know that anytime you can get um, something, basically uh, any type of revenue, any type of content on um, YouTube, that is going to be a really, really, really bullish signal. So they basically acquired a YouTube network with over a billion views per month. So let's check that out a little bit more in depth. So as you can see here, guys, all we have to do is head over to Wow Unlimited Media. And as you can see here, they have several different brands. So this is the channel Federal Network that is based on YouTube. Okay, and YouTube is, is phenomenally profitable. Okay, guys, YouTube uh, is obviously the second largest website in the world behind Google, of course. And as you can see here, so here's some of the data on the network itself. 3,000 network members, 200 million network subscribers, 44 billion views, 1 billion monthly views, and they have an, an addition of 15 million subscribers monthly, guys. So this is a massive, massive network. And this is allowing genius brands to absolutely just like acquire a immensely profitable um youtube network okay 
uh, actually in the morning 2500 3000 channels okay so now genius friends is going to be generating a ton of YouTube revenue and that's extremely extremely good for this company this company was kind of struggling um, to, 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 to basically generate revenue okay they, they have a lot of great uh, cartoons and a lot of great projects in the pipeline but the revenue wasn't there the acquisition of the alone this YouTube network um, obviously is going to pay a lot of dividends okay I don't know if you guys are familiar with YouTube monetization but it does pay pretty well depending on your niche obviously some niches pay better than others but the fact that they're able to have basically add a billion monthly views and hopefully add to this network that's immensely valuable and a really really smart acquisition and to get all of this for basically 56 million including the, the other parts of the WoW Unlimited it sounds like an excellent opportunity so if we head back here also they acquired of course the Federator Studios as well and they've this studio has produced 19 series and has partners with Netflix, Amazon, Google, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr., Sony and Cartoon Network. And you can see some of the um, obviously we talked about Chad the Federer with the YouTube network but we can see some of the other um, cartoons and projects including Barbie, Castlevania, Madagascar, Little Wild. Um, Octonauts and some other cartoons so this is all content that kids will enjoy and this is a huge 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 opportunity for genius brands to add to the revenue I'll we'll talk a little bit about that more in depth so as you can see here this is posted on seeking alpha okay so posted on seeking alpha earlier today I did a little bit of digging okay I wanted to kind of just see exactly you know uh, basically what we're looking at in terms of uh, how this is going to work in terms of the acquisition and the revenue and things like that so basically on seeking alpha it says here that deadline reports that a genius brand is acquiring canadian an animated house wild media for 53 million cash a move that will allow it to transfer animation production to canada from china at a hefty savings it also says that thanks to the various canadian federal and provincial tax credits you can act access through the deal so this is another bullish sign okay so they're moving the production from China to Canada that's obviously extremely bullish it's gonna help them basically save a lot of money and it's also gonna really kind of make things much easier when generating their content we know that China's had a lot of issues over this year whether it's um, you know they've got a lot of problems over there with uh, you know human rights violations when it comes to the, the ogres over there in terms of you know uh, you know basically a lot of human slavery going on and then they obviously ban Bitcoin so I'm happy to see them kind of transition away from China as much as possible move more towards Canada for production and now let's talk about actually how much money that this acquisition will actually add to the income statement and obviously add to general revenue because that's how we're going to be basically valuing genius brands okay so this was posted as well as seeking alpha this is the second update it says the acquisition boost genius brands pro forma last 12 months revenue by more than a thousand percent so wow's unlimited's revenue was 56 million dollars so guys this is a huge 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 acquisition i did some digging myself to actually kind of look at wow's latest um quarterly release so if we head over here to their website we can see that in the first six months of 2021 this company did 33 million dollars so this is massive guys this is solving the, one of the big problems that genius brand says they have a lot of great content but they were really struggling to generate revenue and that was really causing the stock to trade at a massive price to sales ratio which I'm going to show you in in the beginning but now genius is literally nearly 10 12 X their revenue just with a 53 million dollar acquisition and this company has plenty of cash to pay for this obviously they're probably going to use some cash and some stock there could be a little bit of dilution that's probably why there was a bit of a panic sell-off but this is going to do really 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 good for the books so we're going to show you those books in a minute okay so as I mentioned earlier okay this is going to add Wow's revenue was 56 million over the last 12 trailing months okay so before that a genius brands only had about 5 million in revenue so we go back here we add 56 million plus five that puts genius brands you know overnight up to 61 million dollars in 12 12 months revenue okay now the company does have 138 million dollars on the book so you know, 53 million dollar acquisition 
is just under 50% of the overall cash. They should be able to afford this acquisition quite easily. Perhaps they figure out a couple of ways, maybe share dilution using some of the cash on the balance sheet. But the debt is so low, just at $3 million. Okay, they have plenty of cash to afford this acquisition. But what I'm most important, uh, most interested in is the revenue boost. So this number is going to go up to $61 million. So one of the problems with Genius Brands is a lot of people are probably looking at the price to sales ratio and being like, okay, it's just too high at 74. Now with $60 million on the books at a 400 million dollar market cap now we're looking at a company that's basically trading at a price to sales ratio of like six so now this company becomes extremely extremely undervalued more way more so than it was currently and i think a lot of people in the market are reacting irrationally okay i do understand that some people wanted to you know make some quick profits on this but this really makes now financial from a from a fundamental standpoint this makes genius brands an extremely extremely undervalued very cheap very very attractive long-term hold um, from a financial standpoint okay obviously before i liked genius brands because of the content you know dealing with shaquille o'neal and things like this but now from a fundamentalist fundamentalist standpoint for you guys out there that are all numbers you're not into short squeezes you're not into hype you're not into long-term growth you want to see the numbers now this makes this company extremely attractive generating around 63 million i'm, I'm, I'm sorry around 60 it would be about like 61 million dollars in trailing 12 months of revenue at just a 400 million dollar market cap so i think this makes genius brands even more attractive and i really think that we're going to see some major major payoffs for long-term holders now me i still haven't sold any i could have sold this pop right here but i i'm i'm, I'm waiting for ten dollars plus guys i really think this company is really going to explode and i'm really waiting for the shaquille o'neal cartoon to come next year that's my main catalyst after that cartoon launches shaquille o'neal has literally tens of millions of social media followers all across instagram twitter um you know facebook and he has this platform on nba and tnt so when he launches his cartoon he's going to talk about it and there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on that cartoon and that should really 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 help get that more mainstream um recognition for genius brand so i'm so bullish on this company i can't believe they've done so much and just little over it's been about 12 to 15 months since they've really kind of come onto the scene it's really interesting guys so i hope this kind of like gives you guys a kind of a breakdown of what really went down with this acquisition now long term okay if we're trying to see that this company now generates around 61 million dollars a year even if we're looking at a very conservative uh, revenue growth obviously with the whole shack cartoon that come in this company could literally be hitting 100 million dollars in revenue within the next year or two so this puts this easily at a billion dollar valuation at my point and i think that genius brands is probably a fair value at sitting around like at least ten dollars a share in a year or two especially after shack's cartoon launches so guys i, I really think there's around 5x upside from here and who knows once we hit ten dollars that's when a lot of institutional money is going to pour in and it, who knows this could literally just be a stock that runs from one to it could be something similar to like i think like it reminds me a little bit of like blank charging where blank charging was sitting at one dollar and it just it just kept running so um let me know what you guys think in the comments guys if you enjoy my content please smash the red subscribe button and hit the like button to receive more videos from me as um moving forward on genius brands guys so that's all i got until next time take care